one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is about one of the coolest old woodies I've ever had coolest woody I've ever had on today and this thing is a 1970 Chrysler Town and Country now I didn't know that Chrysler kicked the whole woody wagon thing off but I guess in the 40s they did and were the first ones to come out with the whole woody type thing with a uh, steel top and rear view mirrors and actual car type thing this particular woody wagon is of course uh, foul vinyl wood by these years and um, this is top of the line man this is about I think equal with the New Yorker but in a wagon this thing's even got factory cruise control disc brakes one owner here and I'm believing it's 55,000 original mile. It's sure it's hard to tell on something you can't just auto check or Carfax. Um, I called up and talked to the grandson, and he didn't think it had turned over. And um, you know, the one question I have a hard time asking when you get a car that I find some info and can call and talk to the original owner or something or their family is if they're still with us. I kind of picked up that maybe they weren't, but I wasn't sure, and I wasn't going to nail down that question for sure but I'll tell you this the man deserves a trophy for keeping this car nice and taking care of it this car is as nice as it gets um, you're not going to find a nicer 70 or any year um, Chrysler Woody town and country here in this kind of condition that runs and drives and wait till you see the interior wait till you see underneath it this is a beautiful car um, as you can see, I'm back up here in my old spot doing a video. This is not an old video. This is a new video. Um, check out my other videos. You'll see my new uh, location there in El Cajon that I'm getting all set up. But this one was at my other lot and just happened to be. I was driving it around and this is where we're doing it. I actually got a Peugeot wagon we're doing today also. Lots of wagons in. Lots of woodies also. Um, you can check out my channel here. There's about 620 videos or so. Um, check out my website, www dot one owner car guy dot com and I'm going to go up close and show you any minor flaws or things like that and I'm going to go for a test drive and do the normal interior shots and all that once again it's Nathan 406-544-6919 call anytime with any questions and man that's about all there is to say about the once around um, and now I'm going to go up close and show you anything that is minorly wrong with it I mean, this guy took care of this thing beautifully. I'm going to start all the way back on this one, which I don't usually do. There's a ding right here. Dent, I'd say. And those are in great shape. Now, this is a little, was a little faded more, and I put a spar urethane on it. And I'll tell you, it really shined it up and will preserve it um, for years to come. I wouldn't do anything to it. I'd leave it like it is. A few chips in it that you can see there. I just want to be... Totally up front to where you see that, and it looks nice. See you in this door here, same kind of deal. And that's about the worst of the anything on the wood and such. I'm gonna look over it. Paint's beautiful, and I am 99.9% .9 sure it's all original, also. Look at this little Chrysler logo. The man ran over a line. Line and splashed it up right there. That was chip guard. <laughs> um, transmission pan and all looks nice. Um, factory undercoating still on the car. I absolutely love these one owner clean cars. You got a patina on that. There ain't no, there ain't no rust run on this car. It's a little patina on the exposed metal. This kind of stuff I would undercoat and kind of get some Walmart undercoating and. Some of them I'll do it to, just the really, really clean stuff. I don't want to even touch it. Look, you can see where the undercoating is coming off in little places right there. Right there. Ah, there. And I just ride re undercoat the thing. Um, you can tell how somebody loves and cares for their car by what they put on it. Little titties on the side of these, by the way. But these are Kumho Solus KR21s. To call them brand new would not be fair because they drove a little bit but to call them not brand new is not almost fair 
these tires are as nice as it gets. All the little maker's marks and stuff still in them. Uh, you can see there, if a guy shined these up a bit, they'd look better even. They're as shiny as can be. All the chrome on it is beautiful. About the worst I could say about the chrome is the black insert there. It's wore off a little bit. Split right there. And there's a little moisture behind that light. We've had super bad, beautiful day. Super bad rain for about four days here. And that's all I can say about any of that is it's faded. And see how it faded almost gone there? And this one I think it faded did gone. Um, interior's nice. Roof rack and all that, it's in great condition up there. I like that. I don't know if it's a windbreak, wind vent, spoiler, top spoiler, I don't know what you're going to call it. Loaded to the hilt, baby. Got the little blinker indicators, like a Cadillac. I hope this wind don't screw up my video too badly. Um, sure, it's a beautiful car. All the chrome on this car is beautiful. Even your rubber piece here is in great shape. I'm getting blinded right now. Okay, let me crawl down here. Like I say, these tires are something else. You can see that all this is beautiful. You know, small oil leak in the front corner of the oil pan right there. And um, other than that, this should all be undercoated. It just should all be. I hate to do it because then people are like, well, what are you hiding? Well, I'm not hiding nothing. It's just the stuff's in great shape. And going any other way than a California highway, uh, I should be undercoated. And um, just for looks, it makes it look so much better. But God, the car is beautiful. This guy took care of this thing. You know, it's hard to say, well, this thing's been indoors all the time. Well, the guy said it was that I called up. So this thing, the guy took care of it, garaged it, and um, it's a beautiful car. Top of the line, big money rig here. That's all there is to say about it. I sure like them Kumho's. This side, same thing, like, but less. It's small split here. But there's only a couple little chippies. Chippies, huh? It's a chippy chappy. And then a little bit of discoloration where the fuel tank, you can see. And like I said, I have to spar urethane on it. That should preserve it for many more years. Sure is beautiful. And all the chrome. Nice as can be, all the trim around the windows, nice as can be. Um, the worst of anything on this car is this right here. It's not rusted. You can see a patina on the paint behind it where some of the um, weather stripping had came out. And you can see a couple little things starting right here. And it's surface now. But if it's not taken, yeah, it's a factory seal on it. Wow, that's something. And it just needs to be resealed. I don't know if you can see what I'm poking there. But not all rusted out, just got the patina on the paint. As you can see there, on the paint, like strong, not whole. Not whole. A couple chips around the tank there. Drone is beautiful thing runs and drives like a dream all them windows yeah baby I love these handles back here get this wind vent type of a thing once again it's Nathan it's 406 544 6919 get on there and see a lot of the stuff I have for sale um, small little chip right here. <laughs> Just the uh, only kind of rusty type stuff you'll see. Oh, sorry, it's in the wrong spot. Is where the paint chipped a little bit. There's a little... True duels, baby! That's right. Look, it's still when you put the fiber pieces in between your leaf springs back in the day. True duels. Factory undercoating. See, you, you spray that out black all that. Oh man, get that nine dollar a can 3M stuff from Walmart. Probably take you about four, four to five cans. And get this thing really looking good under there, matching. Missing the C, missing the R, missing the R. So 
want to make sure and tell you that. Missing that, missing that, missing that. Dent right here, scraped into something. I bet you that pained this man's heart. I mean, you can tell he took care of this. United States Navy Bicentennial. Not only that, Pearl Harbor Survivor. This man was a hero and had quite a meticulous way of taking care of his cars. Him or his wife liked unicorns. So, and that sticker had been on there forever. And I went back and forth about taking that off. If you want it off, I'll get it off. Don't know what the heck that is. If it's for looks or what, it looks good. These lights are in great shape. All chrome trim, man. This thing is beautiful. Um, if you don't like people asking you questions about your car and saying, hey, what year is that? And sitting there and talking your ear off. Get a different car. Don't get this. Get yourself a little Kia wagon. And nobody will talk to you about it. But this car, people gawk. That would be the proper word. Maybe it's because it's so big. But it is definitely classy. It definitely is a road car. Rides awesome. Um, don't know how you could do much better on fuel in a Suburban or a mommy van. But I guess if you get you a little ring ding 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 minivan you do better. This thing does, I want to say they do 14, 16 miles a gallon. Um, I want to say 18, but it's right in 15 or something like that. That's what I remember. Nathan, 406-544-6919. And what I'm remembering is 440. Driving highway in this on a big, big, big sedan. Old New Yorker I had. So, I don't know. Nathan, 406-544-6919. www.oneownercarguy.com. We're going to take off. We're going to go do a test drive. I'm going to hope I get a beautiful thumbnail like this. And let you know that if you got any questions, call me. I just gave my number twice. I don't want to give it over and over. And check out my other videos. Like I say, about 620 of them on here. This thing's in great shape. Buzzer works. Close the door. No wear on the pedal. And I'm believing that they're 55,000. That's 40 right there and you felt the shift or maybe you didn't because it was pretty damn smooth. Um, so that's the 40 in the flick of a switch there. Well, I guess I didn't flick any switches, but you can feel that kick down, baby. Woo! It goes. That's all there is to say about it. Um, it all does like it's supposed to do. You see your blinker in the dash works there. I guess I didn't show you the dash too well. Now, I didn't get too close to this curb. We'll see here. I know I got a guy behind me. There he goes. You yank it really hard, it'll squeal on you a little bit. That yeah. turned it without even having to do the to it. felt three shifts there for you. I'm gonna slow down a bit and even going up a hill. That's right up to 40. I mean you can't get on this bad boy very long. It might be a large car but it is a very responsive car. Um, this is back this is back before they started saying hey that's all too much gas you guys can't use that. And so you actually got some cars that got some power. And this one is a powerful car. I love a car like this that's only going to go up in value. There we go. Matt was moving the wheelchair. Okay. Power disc brakes. Forgot all about that. I 
and your floors and everything working this up for you. AC is nice and cold. Uh, it's a hot day and it's coming out cold. And I'll tell you, I don't know if it's as cold as a brand new car or I don't know. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say you might need a can, but it is definitely very cold. Oh yeah, and you got the night and daytime changing. Oh, you can still even see the shadow in the day. And then, oh, the factory cruise control. Heads up. I want to let people know that we're sitting in the garage right here and hey, there's a horn going to be on it. Just starts so nice that I want to and I've started it so many times I got a little much fuel in there, but... Oh, the oil light will flicker every once in a while. Bet you the sensor. And clock is not spinning. Excuse me. It starts to. I don't know. I'm gonna say it don't work. My dog's like, what are you doing? God, it's, it's, I want to do it over and over. Okay. And I want to show you. That air is fast. Hope you've seen that one. That was behind the next shot. And then you got this. That... I didn't know where it was and Matt showed me earlier. I was using the back switch. Um, 5, 3, 70. Okay. These visors are in great shape. Let's have a mirror added. Um, I got the seat belt all loomed in here. I doubt I did it right. But it's stuck up there. For what it's worth. Um, oh, that wasn't on. No wonder it was blowing. You can turn them off there. And this is a cool option on a car this old. Um, pedals and all. Uh, we don't shampoo carpets. Um, it's clean and very nice as are the seats actually the guy um, the gentleman I spoke to said that the interior was redone about four years ago I keep closing the doors a little too hard oh small ding right there I didn't see before so you can see that different lighting and in the back your town and country TC pieces have came off Oh, remind me to show you the dash. Now, how are you going to do that? I don't know. I'm going to show you the dash, though. And it is super, super clean. Headliner's in great shape. A little bit of, you know what? There's a little bit of discoloration right there. Just a tad. And... There is no foul smells in here. Nothing with that effect. Um, <laughs> got his service manual. And lots and lots and lots of receipts for lots of money. Um, and there was another little stack of them. I hope I can find them. Um, where he did some stuff. He'd take the stuff right to the Dodge dealer to get switches and stuff. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'll throw all this in with it, of course. You could tell he... But, you know, I hope... I don't know if this thing's a 440. I'm going to say it's a 440 or a 383. How's that? Now, if you know, and you can tell by a number or something, or by when I show you the motor, please comment. I need help. I am not Mr. Dodge Man. But I'll tell you what, he's got that circled a few times. And I'm going to go ahead and go with the man that circled his little 
service manual that he used for 42 years. I just, I, the car doesn't seem that old. The car is just in beautiful condition. I can't imagine that the car is that old. But I can look right on the little tag and it tells me it is. So, with that in mind, I'm going to put this down and kind of, oh yeah, that's pretty. I think it ought to be able to, does the seat come up? Can you help me do this a second? Get a little help while I'm showing you the gate. Now it's got the, I don't know if they call it in the Dodge the same thing or whatever, but it's got the magic gate or whatever. Uh, let's do the gate. Okay, I'm gonna get a little help here. It's very hard to do this different stuff. I might have taken it. I did. Without a. Can you try the gate or whatever? To the right. I don't know, it's pulling hard enough. It's hard with the camera. And you can see it goes way up in there. And. Sheet of plywood. Mini, mini sheets of plywood. This is your work truck. A little tray in there. Um, there we go. Got a wheel, but no tire. So you know. Um, storage thing for the trunk, and I'll tell you the carpet's in great condition. I was gonna go ahead and put black carpet up front. I think this likely came with black carpet, but I'm not sure. Um, I was going to map that up front on the floors with that and leave it on the seats the other way. Can you close that and show them the, we'll show them the gate? Act That's fine. Ah, I said gate, I meant door. There you go. So it opens that way too. Now you don't get the barn door or the door door or the gate door choices in any other new cars, I don't think. I think that, that is a little chippage of the paint right there I didn't show you before. I think that's over. I don't think you get that no more. It's one or the other. And this piece here could use a little silicone going right back there. And I didn't do that. Got I gotta leave you something to do on the afternoon on a Saturday. This piece here is just sun faded, as is the pieces right there along that trim that you can see. And it's on both sides, and you can see that part is split around that edge of that piece just a little. So, if a guy's got this thing, <laughs> you sit, sit this thing in your garage, drive it on the weekends, and watch it go up in value. That's all there is to it. Um, can you pop the hood? What? Oh, I put the wrong key. And I'll tell you, what I'm amazed with on this car is, with old cars like this, windows aren't this fast. That's all there is to it. And like I say, if you don't like his old stickers, I'll get rid of it for you, including that one. I can get that one off. Um, yeah, it is a lost fuel cap. Ah, I don't need nobody's help, damn it. I just need to read the stickers on my own car. So, now we know it is a 383, and it is very powerful. It's nice having this light on this camera to where I can get down in here. I like to show people what they're getting. You're a long ways away. And it is hard to show how clean this thing is. Like, man, if this is mine, I'd go around this thing with it. Little brush and brush all that little dirt. Oh yeah, man, come right off of it. Little brush. Um, just a little bit. We didn't even we didn't even detail this stuff. Look, you can see I've got just you know years of exhaust and everything, road stuff that comes up through the bottom and you name it. But what you got is one one clean car breeder. You want to get out? I had a guy comment in a video about how annoying that was. Your dog is being annoying in the background. 
well, I don't want you to be annoyed. I want you to watch the video, but she wants to she wants to talk to me. Why are the stickers? Great shape. Oh, this came off. I'm gonna check in the air filter. Now it's back on. Factory cruise control. I think that's a great option on this. I mean, you just don't. Besides Cadillacs, you just don't see that much in these years. Okay, well, this will be a test of how long we can actually go on these videos. And now we gotta make sure and not hit the dog. Which she likes to um, be around when I'm driving. She wants to go with me. She thinks we're leaving. I'm gonna go up, back up here, because the way the light is at this location, to get a picture at high noon like this or whatever, that doesn't have shadows is one of the hardest things that a guy could possibly do, it seems. So I like to get both sides of the car pointed up. Plus you get another test drive. I mean, how, could, how much better could that get? God, it's a nice car. If you like driving something that you just feel on top of the road in, well, you should feel on top of the road in this. Look at this, by the way. Almost forgot to show you. Look at that. Even this. Oh, that's metal. That's the it's amazingly clean. That cover was put on there to protect it and not to hide it. Like I say, this is nice in here. I mean, I don't know if I charge it. I'll bet you you could put a can in it. Um. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And I've went about 29 minutes on this video. Sorry, it was a long one. That's what she said. And I just wanted to show you all the options and all the stuff and kind of try and do a good review of this car. It is an amazing car and it deserves something nice like this. This guy took care of it. That's all there is to it. Um, once again, Nathan, 406-544-6919 www.oneownercarguy.com You can reach me on that anytime. You can check out my inventory. I've got almost 200 cars at any given time and you can probably see about 35, 45 of them on there. And check out my channel. If you watch the lot walk-arounds, you'll be able to see the um, some, a bunch of cars that I don't have on here yet. Uh, so, with that in mind, import, export. I'll send it right to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and you'll see all kinds of unique one and two owner Classic Euro and muscle car.